and I like to come back and and stitch down those ones because a little bit of strength is always nice. And I, instead of turning those off, I just go like this and stitch down that one, and then I come over here and stitch down that one. Okay. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I had. Da -da 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 and when I was stitching Backstay. that. That that's why. Backstay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then when you trim, don't stop. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it never happened. Nice. We can erase little bits of history like that. So be careful oh, that you're not laughing at your own there, joke. Do they have a full stay in the Uh no, they haven't in the past, but I want them to, just so they know how to do it. You just have one so you won't be the laughing until you do full jacket. Yeah. Yeah, just know how to do it. Yeah, just do half for your half jacket, and then know how to do it, and I'll have this round so you can do it for your full one. Good enough. Okay, then we're going to do the, on this one, once you've sewn your back on, back piece. So I'm going to show you how to sew your back piece on, but not at the neck, at the thing that you've yet. you need the front piece too? Yeah, we'll do the front piece. Like sew onto the side piece as well? Um, it's hand stitched onto that one. Okay. okay, so now remember on this one, things have been, they might be wonky, but so match up. Oh, they're not, they're good. So you're going to match up your vent right here, and you're going to come here, and you're going to match right up to here. And if you look at the top, it looks like it's kind of funky. There's just a slight thing right here, and that's good. Make sure you've matched up your vent. You're going to come and sew this on at your half vent. And one piece curves, the other one doesn't too much. So make sure you're being careful while you sew it. And this is what I was talking about in there. So you want to make sure that you come down here and you stitch to that half inch and you pivot. You come this direction. And this is really important. I can't stress how important it is. And remember, this is going to be awkward at the bottom because this is important that you stitch across the top because if you don't, and you're going to forget to do this on your full jacket, somebody is, and then you're going to make vents, I mean, you're going to make slits instead of vents, and your vents are going to hang weird and do weird things, you're going to go, what's wrong? It's because you didn't do this. Mm -hmm. Way too often students just stop right here, and then they're like, why is my vent not working? Well, you cut it weirdly so that you sew it there. Yeah, it's a seam. Mm -hmm. Do not hang. So star, 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 star that. Please stitch that and leave a seam allowance open at the end. Okay. Super easy. Then you're going to press that open. Okay. And then once that's been pressed open, then you take your back stay. Thank you. And um, that gets stitched around the neck and the uh, um, shoulder seam. And then once you actually would have a seam on your full jacket, we'll show you, then you are, you will just do a quick hand stitch down there just to hold it in place. Right now, and when you're stitching pieces like this on, you never stitch at the half inch, you always stitch at a quarter inch because you want it inside your seam allowance. So I stitch across the neck, across the shoulder, and oh, look at this. You're like, oh, but there's that. You're just stitching it to this seam. I'm only going to stitch it to the top of that right here for now because then you see you want to open up your seam allowance. And there's a couple ways you can do this. This has all been opened and pressed. You can, once it's all done, you can hand stitch that down, right? Um, or you can just only do it to this one right here. If you don't want to hand stitch, you just do it by machine, but it's only to this one side. And you go like this, which is what you can do, particularly for this your half jacket, but for your real jacket if you want to do it separately. And you go like that. So that it is stitched down to here, but only stitched down to that, mm -hmm. to the back. Mm -hmm. Okay? Makes sense? And then it's all pressed open and your back stays done. Now we're going to make the chest piece. Seems like